Welcome back, everybody, to episode two. Here we have our guest. Hi, my name's Josh. And we are going to be talking about processors. Mm -hmm. Again, he's the technician. I don't know anything, so enlighten us. Yes. This is a continuation of a series. So we gave an introduction of a bunch of parts of a system and definitely targeted at the uh, home programmer or system programmer developer, uh, well, developer. yeah there's the word <laughs> so um, definitely a system cater to that and we're going to talk about the processor we're going to just do a, an installation of this one um, we're also going to talk about the differences in them as well so this is kind of like a budget build but not junk our idea is highest value here so yes. our entire system was under 400 this processor we're talking about for this build was 80, yep. right? It's quad core, 3.7 gigahertz. Yep. AMD. I have no idea if that's good or bad, but <laughs> it's pretty good, I think. Yes, this is um goes on the AM Force uh, socket. It supports a lot of RAM, a lot of PCI Express lanes. You can find more on their website. You know, finding various spec sheets and stuff. But uh, the Ryzen 3, I fi I've found to be a great value and you get a lot of performance. Um, it's also a really good quality. I, uh, it's not cheap like an Athlon processors that they have, which is kind of like their lower ones, but they also have like a real high-end server thread ripper stuff, which is like throw your money at it. Um, now this is definitely- So I'm not gonna need a thread ripper? No, right. no, those are definitely like, they're way beyond whatever a home user would use. But I need to compile. <laughs> okay, you can, you can be an enthusiast all you want about this, but like I'm just laying so it out. So realistically, this is going to serve the majority of people's purpose. Absolutely. And this is AMD. Can you explain, because I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Intel or nothing, right? Like, yeah, we have Team why? Blue, we have Team Red. So why AMD? Are, are you just all AMD or do you use Intel and what's the difference? So when I buy a processor, I want to get the most per dollar. And currently in the fall of 2019, that's where it's at. All right. So it, so you know, there's, that, does that change the board you have to get? Absolutely. It changes okay. socket, changes the board. Um, it past that it doesn't change much. Okay. You can still use graphics card and still use whatever Ram, but the board will change because it's based around that. Um, so there's team blue and there's certain perks like high end gaming, or they make their Xeon. They've been really famous for the, like the high end server processors, but I go with team red because they're currently a great value and they make great chips and they've just come out with these Ryzen processors within the past 10 years or so and so it's turned out pretty good. So essentially AMD is going to give you the most for your money at this level is what you believe. Yes. All right. So I'll buy it, whatever. You're the computer person. So okay. <laughs> how do I actually put this in? You just do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> so actually before you ever pick it up, grab it by the edges. See, I don't know this. I was probably. Just... Yeah. Um, grab it preferably by the corners so you're not touching any pins. They put spaces there so you don't bend a pin. If you bend a pin, you potentially might throw $80 away or huh. could be $300 depending on what processor. So look at all these pins. Yes, there is over 900 of them. Wow, imagine there's 9,000. Oh my. <laughs> so first things first, lift up the lever. That's gonna move stuff out. The point of this lever is to lock stuff in and make a good contact. You're good. And there's a little corner there, which yes, coordinates there's a with this one. Little corner triangle, and there's like a, um, a gold triangle as well. So you, you can see that there's a little gold corner right there. It's a little bit more pronounced on this one right here. Yep, drag that down, and go. it's pretty simple. So can we turn it on now? No. <laughs> no, definitely don't turn on a computer without the corresponding heat sink which is this big block of metal with a fan on top and grossness. I need to unscrew these. Yep those need to come out. So those are for the included um, like they have a, a bracket thingy that can be put on so we're gonna remove those but on there some of their higher end coolers we'll see that right there. This little thing that clamps down clamps this big piece of metal but for the stock cooler, there's just four screws. And um, while he's taking that off, we can see this. There is a thin layer of paste on there. That is what's called thermal paste. 
and it allows heat to transfer between that processor and this block of metal to dissipate some heat and oh, are you doing okay over there? I'm good! <laughs> so that's you can see it's in somewhat of a circle there and then over here it's more of a pronounced square and there's actually a little bit more of it. You can get certain paste and uh, some people claim that there's a difference but we just generally don't see much of a difference in the industry anymore. Alright, do I take these up? Yes, those come out. So with those up, you can, if you were putting in a stock cooler, you could take off the base, back base plate. You see this metal plate comes off. But we're not going to do that. This cooler goes right into that plate. Yep, and it's lined up. Lined up well enough, and from here we'll just screw in stuff. It's good to start from this corner, and then go to this, and then go to this, and then go to that. Similar to what you would do on a car tire. I'm gonna tighten them down like all the way as soon as you do it. No, nope, you gotta loosen this. Sorry. Side. It's okay. I'm a noob. Yeah, just tighten it a little bit at a time. Your screwdriver's not straight enough. Well, I'm sorry it ain't straight enough for you. Screwdriver's gotta be straight enough for you. It is 2019, hon. All right, so stuff's in there pretty tight, pretty secure. And now you want to connect your fans. What? Your fan. Huh? Fan. What do I do with it? Put it in the fan header right here. The thing labeled CPU fan. Da, 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 da. Some of these AMD ones, they use these brackets, but this one doesn't. You can kind of keep those if you're ever thinking about upgrading later. So we can throw these out. Essentially, yes. All right, so that should do the trick. I don't think we'll need much more than that. Uh, we were talking earlier how as you increase the cores, you're not necessarily getting that same amount of in increased performance, right? A program has to be able to support that number of cores. Yep. And there's a cost to parallelization. <laughs> yes. So what are some of the issues you can have with the processor and what ones are fixable and when, when do you know you need to get a new processor? All right, excellent question. Um, a very common problem with uh, putting in a processor and generally physically touching them is these pins. Um, there's like 900 of them and each of them are very, very small. And you can actually bend these and if you try to bend them back they could break off and it, if you bend one it could potentially just break the whole thing. I see. Um, so everything is very connected. Some are power, some are memory, some are I.O. and you have to have all of them. What about overheating and stuff like that? Is that going to happen? Overheating? Every modern processor has what's called like a thermal shutoff point. And this applies when you're overclocking, which means just raising the speed, making it faster. They can shut off. When that happens, it's not going to cause any permanent damage. It causes permanent damage when you overclock and stuff stays hot for very long periods of time past what's called the thermal junction. Thermal junction is like the manufacturer's cutoff temperature, temperature. It's a hot word. Yeah. And those will generally range between 160 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, dude, you could cook food on <laughs> Yes, they're, they're very hot. It, it, within such a very tiny space as well, we have a very thin um, heat spreader on this, but that, na that will um, spread Disappear. out. Yeah, it'll spread out into a bigger cooler like this. This is called the Wraith Spire and it's really good. It comes with all the Ryzen 7 processors. This is good stuff. So what, what it does is it heats up this copper block, heats up some water in here, and just spreads stuff out similar to how your car does. Or an air conditioning unit, it runs it through radiators and fans. Yeah. And, um, this is a system that's needed to cool a little processor. Cool. Next up, we're going to be talking about RAM and storage. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, watch me embarrass myself trying to put together a computer. So check it out. And thank you guys. Be sure to subscribe and check out Josh's channel.